40 years. That's how long we've been in our home in suburban St. Louis. It's a lifetime, really. A lifetime spent accumulating memories, possessions, and the weight of time. And now, as I stand amidst the remnants of four decades, I find myself confronting a daunting question. What does all this stuff really mean? This house, still alive and filled with laughter and love, the focal point of the annual Christmas party, has become a labyrinth of nostalgia and clutter. Each item holds a story, a fragment of my past waiting to be rediscovered. But amidst the chaos, I wonder, have I been collecting memories or merely accumulating stuff? Look at these shelves of rally memorabilia, 50 plus years actually, snapshots frozen in time, capturing moments of elation and frustration, that's racing, and everything in between. And yet, as I sift through them, I can't help but feel a pang of nostalgia. I've spent so much of my life racing through the forest and rally cars, chasing the newest career or the latest trend, but in my pursuit of more, have I lost sight of what truly matters? Have I mistaken possessions for relationships? Clutter for comfort? Hell, I'm adult ADD. Clutter is comfort. Decluttering isn't just about cleaning out rally trophies and St. Louis Cardinal bobbleheads or even organizing the shop in the garage. It's about confronting the choices I've made, the paths I've taken, and the values I currently hold dear. It's about letting go of the physical clutter that weighs me down so that I can make room for the things that I truly love, relationships and sense of purpose. My clutter isn't just my stuff, of course. As the only son of an only son, I have four generations of artifacts and correspondence dating back to the post-Revolutionary War period. Trunk loads! My wife is thrilled. So as I stand here amidst the relics of my and other generations past, I'm reminded that decluttering is not just an act of cleaning. I think it's supposed to be an act of liberation. It's a chance to shed the layers of accumulation and rediscover the essence of who I am and what I hold dear. Besides, my kids aren't the least bit interested in any of this. And so, as I embark on this journey of decluttering, I want to do so with an open heart and an open mind. I want to embrace the opportunity to create space, not just in my home, but in my mind. I may even want to be a little reckless as I overload trash containers every Sunday evening. Those who have preceded me in this gargantuan task tell me that as I let go of the excess, I may just find myself a little lighter, a little freer, and a little closer to clarity. I won't have all this stuff to protect anymore. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.